It's just awesome. This one's rated at 45 pounds at 28 inches, but max draw on this is 33. I try to set the camera up to where you can see the chronograph readings. First shafts I got prepared are 10 grains per pound. Uh, these shafts are alley bows set up. Again, I'm going to let the bow torque just a little bit, but not a full katra. Full katra. Katra. No, I'll say it right next. Eventually. Ooh. 192. Boy, I think this feels powerful. Shot number two. 186. The release wasn't so clean on that one. One ninety three. One ninety three. I'm going to try to time the swing of that target so that I don't damage my arrows. <laughs> 192. So these here are a lot lighter. These are 8.3 grains per pound of draw. fast it just it just I just feel it release the bow it just just kicks it away and just feel how fast it's going what that one come on oh 201 210 look at that All right, I want to move to the left on my target just a, just a touch so I don't damage my other arrows. Just ever so slightly. Sixty-nine. I don't think so. Let's redo that test. Two seventeen. Two oh nine. And even though these arrows are eight point three grains per pound, I'm not feeling any I'm not feeling any kick at all in my hand just yet. The next set I got's a little bit lighter. I'm kind of anticipating a little bit of a thump in my hand. We'll see. Oh, 206. Okay, 194. That wasn't a clean release. I could feel it on my thumb. Get a clean release this time. 196. Two oh five. And these are seven five, seven point five. 
grains per pound of draw. I was going to make some six and a half, but I was afraid to go that light. They don't want to hurt the bow. This thing feels amazing at 33 inches too, by the way. Oh, 210. Drop down just a little bit so I don't damage my arrow. Twelve. All right. So even even that, I don't know if you could hear anything on the video, but I just I couldn't hear any difference, and I didn't feel a thump in my hand like I expected. Oh, that's fast. Two oh six. Okay. Well, I like the angle that it hit the, the target on too. Um, what I want to do as an experiment, I want to see how the speed reacts to kata and string twist. And I think I'm going to do different is I'm going to put in a gentle forward down kata and a string twist. Two hundred and seventeen feet per second. Again, a mild katra and string twist. Two hundred and twenty two feet per second. I'm just blown away at the difference. One last time, katra and string twist. Two hundred and eighteen feet per second. I haven't done the math, but I mean, just looking at that, doing it in my head real quick, that's a solid ten feet per second increase just by adding string twist and katra. Um, let me throw these three arrows at the target one more time with string twist and kata and see if the results are replicated. I've been reproducing these same results time and time again. So, I guess that means those boys back in antiquity knew something. Two hundred and twelve. Okay. Gentle forward down katra and string twist. Two twenty six. Amazing. Again, I want to do a Gentle forward down kata and string twist. Oh my arrow, 225. Well, I don't know how much more proof you need than that. I'm sold. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And I think we're going to speed test a Manchu bow.